A few months ago, I went for an adventure to the Southern Highlands, and I came across this place called Gales Flat. After some further research, I realized it was part of a 30 kilometer bike trail from Fitzroy Falls to Kangaroo Valley. I've only ever done riding in well signposted bike parks, and the furthest I've ever ridden is 12 kilometers. This trail is completely unmarked, well outside of cell phone service, and more than double the distance of my longest previous ride. Needless to say, this is a bit outside of my comfort zone, and possibly well beyond my capabilities, but I knew I had to give it a try. So I called my friends Henry, Bella, and Kim, and we set off for the Southern Highlands. The plan was to drive to the end of the trail in Kangaroo Valley, leave one car there and then all drive up to the start of the trail in Fitzroy Falls. From there we'd bike the trail and then use the car we'd left at the end to drive back up to Fitzroy Falls and then home. Okay, so the first of our complications has arisen. We are here, we're at Mel Merilla Road, which is the top entrance to the track. The problem is that Google Maps can't distinguish the fact that the road that goes, the fire trail we're supposed to be riding actually has a gate on it that means you can't drive through. So it's trying to take us to the end via the actual track we're supposed to drive, but you can't drive it. What? So <laughs> I know this because of my Southern Highlands video, link up here, but. <laughs> so we're at the wrong end. So we've got to drive about an hour and a half to the right end. This is saying that the Fitzroy, uh, that the Mossvale Road is shut. That's the one. Mossvale Road's the one. So we can't go on Mossvale Road. What we should do is go to Fitzroy Falls and see if the road happens to be open or if it's traversable at all. I reckon chances are there'll be roadworks, but there might be a chance that it's open. And if it is, it's gonna save us a lot of time and put us back on schedule. So if the road is open, we're gonna know about it in any 100 meters or so, I reckon, from, from here. So let's figure out if this road is open, and let's hope it is. Okay, so turns out the road is closed. We asked the lovely foreman guy who was working there, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to go the long way. This means that instead of doing the short drive between Kangaroo Valley and Fitzroy Falls, we would now have to detour out to Kayama and back in again, adding an hour and 40 minutes to our travel time. Eating a whole bag of chips already. Nice. How are you feeling, mate? Fantastic. Just all part of it. Talk to a guy, we'd come for a drive. There's a bridge. What more could you want? The drive down to Kangaroo Valley was through some beautiful rainforests. One hour and 40 minutes later, we made it to the trail end in Kangaroo Valley. So we've now all made it down to the exit at the end of the trail. What we're gonna do is leave my car here and then we're gonna all pile into Kimberly's car and go back up to the entrance where we can ride back down and my car will be waiting. So phase one is complete. Did take a little longer than I thought because of our little mix, mix up with the directions earlier. So we may be a little crunched for time and we may end up riding at night time. Hopefully it works out okay. Let's go back up to Fitzroy Falls. We retraced our steps back to Fitzroy Falls, but time was now against us. We arrived at the trailhead at 2.30 p.m., leaving us only three hours of daylight to do a track which supposedly takes six hours. We are here, we made it to Fitzroy Falls, now time to start the actual bike ride. Phase three of the plan is in effect. What are you most nervous about? Cold legs. I got shorts on, you can't see, but I got shorts on. <laughs> Stacking it. What are you most nervous for, for today? Getting a sore butt without my padded bike pants. I am most nervous for many things. I have a getting long list. <laughs> Mostly getting us lost. There is a high chance that we won't have reception when we are on this fire trail and we have to take a couple different fire trails to actually get to the fire trail that's towards the end. So not getting lost is a primary concern of mine. It's also roughly 2.30. Sunset's at 5.30 and we have to get 30 kilometers in that time. With that we started our ride but it wasn't long until we came across our first obstacle. All right, first little obstacle here. There's this giant puddle we got to go around. Had to do a bit of bush bashing, but we found a way. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. All right, yay team, we made it across. Let's keep going. trails are really muddy so there's like puddles everywhere 
lots of mud and clay and it's a bit slippery out, but we're doing well. How many k's are we at? We're on our fourth k, so we've done three k. All right, how's everyone feeling? Woo. Pretty good. We're crushing it so far, going really well. Let's keep it up. We made some really good progress riding through the farmlands. Okay, we've encountered a slight problem. The road is closed to cars. There's a log in the way, which makes sense given all the rain and other crazy things been going on. But we're gonna lift the bikes over and keep on going. So hopefully the road close signs we've been seeing are just because of this and not because of some greater obstacle later on. We made it over that obstacle. Let's keep going and hopefully there's nothing worse. <laughs> I may have spoken too soon, but we stayed positive and we kept on riding. We're close to about a third of the way through and it's gotten dark now, so it's gonna be a long ride. But uh, also the trails have gotten much worse. It's been raining a lot and it's just slushing through mud. We were making really good progress the first 10 Ks and now we're sort of just walking our bikes more than riding them. So there is mud and it's dark. That's about all I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, we've gone the wrong way. Oh! Not even kidding, we have to go back to that. Well, I always knew we'd get lost somewhere. I was just <laughs> hoping it wouldn't be at night time after the trail that's full of mud. <laughs> so, I think, are we going to have to backtrack? Is that how this is going to yeah, work? we're going to have to backtrack. <sighs> work. No. Okay, we're going to have to backtrack about 200 metres, supposedly. Cool. Honestly, lucky that we got signal and we caught it now. Otherwise, it would have been a lot worse. We wanted to get up to Marilla Road right up there. We came from along here. And we've gone left and missed that little right turn right there. So now we have to go back and find the left hand to get us up to Marilla Road. So it turns out we were actually on the right path before. <laughs> we had a bar of 3G somewhere and we checked it and we're actually on the right track. Thankfully we haven't backtracked our backtrack too much. I don't know how many backtracks we're on, but we know where we're going now and we're almost at the road that we know where we're going from. So hopefully the hard part is kind of over soon, hopefully. We kept on riding, but at this point it was obvious that we'd be riding for a few more hours in the dark. Okay, we made it to the Merrilla Road. So now I know where we are because I've been here before in my Southern Highlands video, link up here. So I now hopefully know how to get to Gales Flat, and from Gales Flat it should be just the one fire trail to follow home, and that was pretty well signposted as well. Stars are out. You can see that orange glow in the distance. I'm still muddy. It's great. How you feeling, B? I am having the best time, <laughs> feeling great. Fingers a little bit numb, but I'm thriving. Bella is the endless well of positivity, and right now I'm very grateful. Because <laughs> going through there, I was like, mm, so done. So thank you, Bella, for being positive. Appreciate you. How are you feeling, Kim? Good, actually. It's good fun. We made it to Morton National Park, and from here we were more confident that the trail would be well signposted. Here we are at this huge gate behind us. This gate is a huge pain because there's like a cliff on one side and we've got to put the bikes over. So Henry's going to jump over and we're going to pass our bikes to him. Hopefully we can get over this thing. All right, we made it over the gate. Thank you everyone for passing bikes over. That was good. Successful obstacle pass. Let's keep going. I know there's just three lights sitting here, but how's everyone feeling? Pretty good. Great. We did see a sign that said we only have 11 Ks to go, so doing well. Oh, we're getting close now. We've run less than 10 Ks left. So we've done two thirds of the way, one third left. We are heading into uncharted territory, but in theory, it's supposed to be flat. In theory, it's supposed to be good condition. And we have the hope of a nice warm car waiting at the end for us. We thought it was going to be smooth sailing from here, but we were wrong. 5.8 k's left. My quad muscles are literally burning. There's no good position. Up and down are both really bad. How's everyone else's? Yeah. They say they're alright, but they're being wrecked as well. <laughs> 5 k's left. We're taking a little walk right now. Just to make it up the hill. 
Everyone's, I think, a little tired. Everyone's legs are hurting a bit. Everyone's muscles were getting tired, and we'd forgotten that the end of the trail has a reasonable hill to climb before it flattens down to the final stretch. We also didn't know about the creek crossing. We've run into a slight complication. There is a big creek <laughs> blocking our way. It's one problem after another. Everyone was trying to stay positive, but at this point, we were all feeling the fatigue of the day's adventure. We've been walking up hills because our legs are all cooked. So hopefully, get to the top soon, and we'll ride back down to the cars. But for now, just walking uphill. <laughs> we had a bit of a gummy bear stop to sugar up. We're back, we're ready, we're gonna power through to the end. We kept on riding and finally, at 8.30 p.m., we made it to the end of the trail. We passed over the last gate and had some celebratory snacks. I'm so relieved that, that is over. <laughs> it was really good, but definitely had a lot of points where I was like just in pain and just trying to go through. And I definitely thought we'd taken a wrong turn and I was like, we're gonna end up trapped out in the middle of the night. They're gonna send search parties for us, <laughs> so. I've been pretty exhausted, but I had a great time. It was lots of fun. And I'm keen for a warm shower. <laughs> How you doing, man? Pretty good. Got this into me. Feeling good. Ready for some tunes. Drive home. Feed. I'm feeling good. I'm happy that we are done. Very enjoyable though. Man, I am happy that it's done and I feel really accomplished. I think this is something that I really enjoyed doing, but I don't feel the need to do it again anytime <laughs> soon. This is something that I definitely thought wasn't possible. And whilst it's been really hard, I think we've overcome a challenge today. And I definitely feel like my threshold for what I believe is possible has increased. I'm super grateful for my friends coming with me and supporting me. Without their positivity, I'm not sure I could have made it. It's a good reminder that with positivity and persistence, you can overcome any obstacle. Do I recommend the Fitzroy Falls to Kangaroo Valley bike trail? Yeah, but make sure to get a thorough map, allow six hours of riding time, and please, please start before 2.30 p.m. Is there anything you feel like you will take away from this experience? Anyone? A bike? <laughs> 